Well, hi there. Bill Lackner here. Uh, in this video clip, we're going to demonstrate uh, how to clean a limit of uh, purple varnish clams. The easiest clams in Oregon's coastal waters to dig, clean, and uh, prepare. Uh, I've soaked these clams in uh, salted water for a day and a half before putting them in the refrigerator and covering them with uh, with a damp uh, terry towel cloth. This morning we're going to blanch the clams until they pop open which it takes 10 to 15 seconds. Once the clams are blanched we're going to put them in dump them into the sink and turn the cold water on to uh, cool them off to prevent them from cooking. Um, we will hopefully record this process on, the, on this uh, video clip. As you can see we are, have a rolling boil in our pot that we're going to steam the clams in. I removed the terry towel from the bowl placing the clams into the bowl and dumping them into the boiling water until they pop open which will take approximately 10 to 15 seconds to accomplish. These clams are a little colder because my icebox, my refrigerator was so cold. But see now the clams are popping open. See that? They're all popping open. Doing what they should do. The ones that don't pop open I'll open with a knife. I dumped the clams from the pot into the sink, got the cold water running so I can cool the clams down to stop them from cooking. Any clams that aren't open are alive and I can open with a knife, such as this one right here. You can see this clam did not pop open, but I'll open it with a knife. Clams with the shells are are open are good. I inspected all of the clams prior to dumping them in the into the boiling water to make sure that indeed the clams shells were clo closely uh, closed and alive. If the clams were gaping and the, the shells were open um, and w by touching the clams if they didn't close the shells you'd know that they were dead and you'd throw those clams away. I've separated the clam meat from the clam shells. I'm going to save the clam shells. I'm going to use them as vessels for making my uh, stuffed Oregon stuffed clams. As you can see, I have a half or dozen or so clams that did not open. These clams are alive and they're good, they're healthy, and I'm going to cut them open with a knife. I've got my favorite clam cleaning knife, you know, a short blade uh, paring knife. And I go on the hinge side here where the Put There's just a down. slight gape in the clam. See the gape? I stick the knife blade in, cut through the abductor muscle, run the knife blade all the way around to the other side, open the clam. Clam's, clam looks good. Clam smells good. Passes the smell test. Take the clam, deposit it into the bowl with the other clams. Pick the clams up. Find a gape where the clam shell slightly open, run the paring knife in and around to the other side, hope the clam up, clam passes the smell test, clam's good to go, deposit the shell in the with the others, okay, that's and good. finish cleaning the clams in this manner, then I'm done. Then what we do to clean each clam individually we take and squeeze the gut bag. The visceral material comes out. I squeeze the gut bag, pull the visceral material off. I throw it into the sink. Take the knife okay. and just scrape the remaining visceral material from the clam. Wash the clam off. And we're good to go. Okay. Can I turn and it off it's, now? It's as simple. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Okay. Did you get it as as simple as yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Here we are at the end of uh, cleaning my clams. I have 
the one in my hand and the three in the sink and you can see the uh, visceral material at the bottom of the sink. I'll clean the sink when I'm finished. Here's the uh, clean clams. Oh, I guess I made a mistake. I threw the, <laughs> the visceral material. I didn't get quite cleaned off of this one. So I'll re-clean that one. But anyway, you get the idea. But, uh, here's my clean clams. Here's my shell. And here in a little bit we're going to take the clean clams, put them back into their shells, and uh, make stuffed clams. Uh, one of my favorite way of eating uh, Oregon's clams. Well, we're back. As you can see, we have the spent shells. I still have some of those set aside. Our clean clams, which are small, small pieces of, of, of whatever's left of the clam hole. Here's our cookie sheet with our clams placed on it. No rock salt in this case. Uh, as you can see, I like a variety of cheese. This is cheddar cheese. This is Munster. Uh, I really prefer the white sharp cheddar cheese, but I don't have any with me today. Uh, a little salsa, some bacon, cooking the bacon. Uh, better cook the bacon. Cut the bacon into little strips. Add the clams to the shells with the cheese and the bacon. Broil in the oven for five to ten minutes till they turn golden brown and boy they're just to die for. Well we're ready to begin stuffing Oregon stuffed clams with our clams into our shells with cheese and pieces of bacon. Now I didn't cut, cook this bacon uh, thoroughly. It's not crispy bacon it's sort of medium and that's by design so uh, when we're broiling it, it will finish cooking over the uh, over over the the uh, the clams. Uh, this is thick sliced bacon. Generally, my recipe calls for thin sliced bacon, and I broil it raw on the shell on the half shell. But that didn't happen this time. It's what I have on hand. A lot of times when I make stuffed clams, I just take whatever's in the ice box and. And that's what we use, and uh, sometimes we have some spectacular uh, results. Of course, it's magical that the number of clams I have divided by two uh, ends up with enough clam meat to stuff 16 of the or 18 of the uh, of the shells. Anyway, I'm going to finish stuffing these here in a minute, and we'll see what the completed uh, clam looks. Well we have 18 clam shells stuffed with all the clam meat from a limit of 36 clams. We're going to finish stuffing them with the cheese and the bacon. Put some salsa on them, bake them, broil them in the oven for 5 to 10. We're all ready to go with the salsa. These are going to be served as hors d'oeuvres over at um, my buddy Dutch's house and so we'll finish applying the salsa over there and broil, broiling them there so they're hot and fresh and tasty and delicious. Well, here we are over at Dutch and Bev's and we've got our Oregon stuffed clams water in there ready, ready to broil oh, which we'll do here in a few minutes. Yeah. Well doesn't this look good? This our Oregon stuffed clams with Munster and cheddar cheese Boy, that looks absolutely delicious. We will find out here in a few minutes.